They will continue to do evil because they will say nothing will come for all our aid. So I want the Liberian people, international community, all our Liberians to come in and let fight this together. That's all I have to say. Thanks to the press and the Liberian people. So we now uh, pay keen attention to Jessica Law, who is the survivor of the mysterious act of Lucas Bridges. so many corrupt things going on within my case and even people who are not judge or lawyers who understand that the case was not judged the way it was to be judged and I have a few questions here for Judge Jimmy but first I would want to say thanks to everyone who is supporting me thanks to the press thanks to all those in the tax world all groups that are coming together to protest on my behalf Thanks to every parent, every mother who understood my mom cried and who know what it means to for your child's life to offer to take them away from all to you. And thanks to my family who have always always been there by my side and, and many other people. So the first question is who caught my clue? If Justice if the judge is saying that why did why the Lucas had a knife with him? that he said hit me. Why did the judge did not put any charges on Lucas, not even one? Judge Judy in his ruling said that his decision was was due to the to the um, to the prosecution failed to, to proceed and uh, pieces of evidence to support to support us. My question is was that was that not enough? Okay, let's say I wasn't enough. Was the eyewitnesses not enough? Okay, we can say again they wasn't enough. The Lucas not defeat himself in court by giving uh, uh, by giving contrary statement. He gave different statement at the police station and in court. He mentioned that he was using me or we agree on me being a, a sorry kid mom. Okay. And if uh, Lucas is saying that if the judge and the judge did not explain because and if John City is saying that, and if John City says that we did not have enough evidence, my question is: Did Luca give the court any evidence? Luca was the only one testifying. He was the only person on the case. The only person. How can one person go against close to nine person? How can one man statement rule over nine person? How is that possible? My question is, did Lucas give the court any evidence? Did he bring any eyewitnesses that saw that saw the Moko Sakari hitting me? Did, did Lucas doing did Lucas bring any document to show that we play on on me being a sorry game mom? Because that was his statement in court that he made in court. He said that plan on me being a sorry kid. So did he bring any, any paper, any uh, uh, document from the hospital to prove that, oh yeah, I signed a document for me to become a sorry kid mom? Judge Lee said that NS Philip did not bring any medical report to prove that he was beaten that day. My question is, did Lucas give the court any medical report of him not being able to function? Because he said that on the night of our wedding, he was unable to pull out spring. So my question is, is there any hospital in Liberia that helps in women that helps women or couples out with surrogation? Do they have any hospital like that in Liberia? How can one man's statement be more than each person's statement? How can one man's statement be the whole country down? It's not about me, actually. 
most women say, oh, okay, it's Jessica, her own. But it's about so many lives that we've got her to take. Because nobody can, who haven't done, who haven't had wicked before, kill someone in that way. No one who haven't done it before will slaughter someone. He left the God goes free. But his, 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 his family might be one of the victims tomorrow. Someone in this country, every citizen, individual, their family might be involved tomorrow. There are a lot of people in this country who, who have seen liquor run, run free and they have been doing evil. And because he's, he's, he goes free, they will have the courage to keep doing more because they will use their money and their power to let their self go free. So how can he say this to all of the evidence, all of the doctors came and testified? All of the eyewitnesses, more than three people saw this man with the knife. And how can Judge Chili say that? <coughs> that Lucas is not guilty. They were, he was brave. Because if nothing, why would he make such a decision? Even Lucas's lawyers call us to discuss about me being brave. They're recording it all, all, all on the internet. You can hear them clearly stating that the clients in the moon of what they have, they, have, they, have, they have come to discuss with my parents and I. How is that possible? How is that possible? I don't need justice for just me. Like he said, my, my, my statement was what? It was contradicting, contradicting to, to what I said at the, at the police station and what I said in court. Did Lucas mention about Sorokin more at the police station? Did he mention anything about him being sick? No, he did not. So how can he judge case in such a manner? If he's a judge, if he's a father of girls' children too, if he have family members, how can he judge case like that? How can mother by hit somebody and them and, and then the mother by man go be carrying them around? It's not you hit anybody then he's carrying them and then cut the throat again. How is that possible? Luca was the one who cut my throat. He was the one who slit my throat. And he also he was the one who hit me from the bike. His testimony in court and the testimony he gave, even when I was at the court, even when I was at the hospital, when I read his he, 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 he interview on, on, on the internet, I was like, okay. As far as I was shocked, like, why would he do this? And I said, but no, but they're not playing on getting on bike. No. Then how would Lucas say he didn't be playing on me and worry if I like, you want to, for me to get on bike, for me to go to my house? No. How can someone try to get a problem who are trying to face the time and then you put up with speed leaving your wife in a strange place with a strange people? How is that possible? So that's why I gotta say things to the person every day. Alright, so we also have one of the family members here who would like to also press the press. That's that's it. So we're done with entertain just two questions. We entertain just two questions and then we move forward. And we now move to our interview. One of my questions I called on Friday on Code FM. Because Richard, the interview, Richard the journalist, I was in the court. And I've been on the case from day one. So the ruling, even the ruling day, when I saw Judge Cheney, but I told Cynthia Lord that Judge Cheney, nice and Cheney, he was in, he was in uh, set a court. He have a criminal record that was, he was, he was removed. I said, this judge is not correct. When I saw him changing his statement from all the evidence that was given, this is my first time knowing myself in the Republic of Liberia. The, the, the prosecution gave nine witnesses and the defendant only Luthers alone stand. And my question was to who ever was Richard Sell, Judge Cheney Sell, sufficient evidence that the, the weapon that was used against Jessica was not produced in court. So my question was, where would Jessina, uh, Jess, uh, Jessica take the, 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 the weapon from? When Luthor's Richard, the player, he committed the crime, he flew with a lane cruiser jeep. And the, the children that ran behind him, they caught him in Dwala, Kanka building. 
it was he said it equal and Chochini heard it and the angry cry came and looked at the car and the same earnest boy that saved Jessica's life tried to save Luther's life and stop the angry cry from hitting at Luther's so that when he was beaten and Luther told him Ernest told the court that Luther told him he said take me to Cape Man I will give you any amount Chochini heard it so how can Jessica, uh, Jessica leave the hospital and chase the angry crowd and go to take the weapon to produce it as evidence? That's when I got disappointed. I even left the courtroom with tears. Chachini, I knew you were going to do this. I told Cynthia Lori, I knew, I heard about the tinted record. That's all I got to say. Uh, I also want to say something. We also talk about one it's, actor it's, it's the mom of uh, everybody Jessica Lawrence. bought some of their money one way or the other. The police was involved. Because the police can't get my daughter close. From this when we were at JFK, yeah, yeah. the police uh, were sent to the JFK. They the had a close enough possession. Justice. And they turned the close over to this school. The police are going to go Jessica because Law. Jessica at this, JFK. Yeah. The police refused uh, to get my daughter to close. The press. Yes, right Lucas Rachel took her car while investigation of, going on. He called her. He Law. took her car and saw her car that was something that was that was playing. That was, playing a click. That was something that, that that George Chini did all of them play to do. The police went and took one actor that shared before we never saw in our life and never testified and never met with the grand jury and put him in the police report and gave different statements. George Chini stood all that and George Chini. As a judge, even somebody in the interior will not judge case like that. Now you will bring somebody who will even testify in court and using that person, but the, the, the person is quoting another people, so the people say, then you using that person's statement against us to give Rudy. To give Rudy. For that person's statement to give Rudy. I'm disappointed. They put disappointed in the police, I'm disappointed in the justice ministry. We are not doing this for, Je like, uh, for Jessica yes, alone. We are doing this for other people. Wow. You know the reason why I refuse that money because of other children, not because of Jessica, because of other young girls. People say you want Jessica to find it. It could be anybody. It could be anybody. It could be anybody. Just that Jessica fall in the wrong hands. But Lucas, I know the case is just starting. You can't know other international uh, judges, other international lawyers. We see reason and George Chini, I see Jessica in court. Who cut your throat? Why you hit somebody from the back and the person unconscious? How would the person know who cut their throat? And Jessica continued to tell George Chini, only me and this man were there. Only me and this man was there. And I told George Chini, my daughter, Lucas went for my daughter in the yard. He alone, he and my daughter left the house. Jessica continued to tell George Chini, George Chini, you couldn't use your common sense. You couldn't use your common sense for God's sake, Josh Chini. Hey, Labiro, for me. Lucas and Lou win the work for Labiro. Lucas and Lou win Labiro. I'm disappointed in the country. I'm disappointed in the women grouping. I'm disappointed in civil society. I'm disappointed in the church of council. The traditional people, I'm disappointed. My people, I'm disappointed. But I know God will fight for me and my family. God will fight for us. No one account. Hey, Josh Chini, for God's sake. What I can you couldn't put it on Lucas here? Lucas will go free. Go Lucas free. saw his car yeah. while the case in court. My people, he chatted my daughter to call the pregnancy. And that does keep a testifier with all of the evidence. And you say that motorbike hit my daughter. Motorbike will cut her throat. Josh Chini, for God's sake. And the lady I told you, Lucas waited hard there for him. All the witnesses. They saw the nephew of Lucas. Joshin, if Jessica knew that Lucas was killing her, Jessica would tell the crowd, we are leaving for God's sake. Joshin, you will bear the consequence. You will bear in your generation to come. Jimmy, Jimmy. And I want for the government, the international court, to take serious steps against Joshin. Joshin does not deserve to be your judge. Joshin has a whole lot of people hurt. I heard about Josh Chini, he's very corrupt and evil and wicked. He will pay for it, his generation to come. Children, children will pay for it. 
look at me, say he don't know. What they call tradition? The day of the wedding, before he gets to know tradition. Are you kidding me? With all of the, 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 the evidence, with all of the text messages, which we are do first put it on and show it to Joshini. Joshini said, say there is no evidence. This is one of the ways that Daniel should can speak for herself. But Lucas carry us to go by the food. Lucas the one that sponsored the wedding. No family for any damn them. He took us in his car to go and shopping for the wedding. This is one of the ways that she can talk about the wedding. Okay. Okay, so we, we take comments because we have participating um, CS organizations here. We can take comments. We have the Alliance for Justice, Peace, Justice, and Human Rights. Our big guys here, we have Big Drew Wonto. We have Marcin Tape and the rest of the other uh, human rights defenders, including me. So we entertain comments from them. And then we mention the end with questions, just two questions. And the question we do not want rhetorical questions. We want to straightforward, right? Thank you. So we can start with um, Abiga, we can start with you and we end up with Big June. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I would like to say on behalf of the Alliance of Peace, Justice and Human Rights, we are in solidarity yeah. with the family of Jessica Lloyd. We are going to be with them from the beginning to the end until we ensure justice for Jessica. The culture of impunity in Liberia has been so high. But what really baffles me is the fact that we all sat here Liberian women, all Liberian women, if it was something of your interest, you were being in the street, but now you have taken your lap up, naked yourself and do all lot of stuff like you do around here. But because it's poor Jessica Lord, who do not have connections, who do not, who do not fit in your class and call into your standard, you are seated there at the back, you are not saying anything. But as for us, the APGS era as an institution, we're gonna fight for Jessica like we have done for so many victims. The case of Princess Popo, um, the three missing boys, and so many cases have gone unsolved in Liberia. How long, mothers of Liberia, you wanna call on your second lady, Stephanie Dan Kuhn, your excellency, you are a young woman. You understand the issues of being violated. You understand the issues of going through this kind of trauma. You need to step up for Jessica Law and her family. The first lady, Madam Buaka, you need to Catching. step up for Jessica Lloyd and her family. We are calling on the legislature, Liberian women. It is about time we build United Front, the Civil Society Council of Liberia. Let us stand together to ensure that there should be some way, somehow closure for this family. Lucas cannot come perpetrate all of, all of uh, um, this crime. And then we allow him to walk out of our country free of charge. What is the deterrence are we setting? We are just giving room for fear and, and, and future occurrence of such of, 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 of crime in Liberia. There's no deterrence because over the past time, other people will come murder our sister, rape our sister, do whole lot of abuse. Lot of foreign nationals in this country perpetrating harms against our sisters. We are not doing nothing. We are very corrupt. We are accepting money. We are shutting our mouth. All Liberian people, we are so disappointed. This family, they are crying. It's about time that we come together to ensure we work with them. We champion the cause on behalf of them so that Jessica Lloyd and her family can get closure. That there should be justice to deter future occurrence of such a crime. The APJH era is here. We are open up to everyone, pressure group, you are welcome to join this, this fight. Tata Spakala is here healing this and everybody we are calling on you to work along with him so that we can see how we can support the process to justice for this family. Thank you so much. Okay, so my name is Vic June Excel Wuta and I represent the Initiative for Youth Empowerment and Economic Development. In addition to what Abigail has said, calling on everyone, I also want to add my voice to say this is not about Jessica anymore. Jessica represents a system that needs paradigm shift. Jessica represents a group of young people that cannot sit here today to speak out for themselves. So we all need to join forces and ensure that justice is done. One question I have for Joshina is, if Lucas Lloyd is not held liable for the crime committed against Jessica, who then is? Because we believe and we are very much sure that Jessica did not slay her own throat. So there's no way we can accept that he's not guilty. And even if he's not guilty, who then is guilty? That person needs to be brought to book 
so we can have the issue of justice, I mean the issue of impunity in this country reduced because it is only basically with the poor people that you see almost all of the time crying for justice and you see a system shaking to, you know, kind of come together and say, okay, we want to do this. Now, this is Jessica. I am Jessica. You are Jessica. Jessica could be your sister, your daughter, your niece, your whoever. Violence does not know status. Abuses does not, I mean, abuses do not recognize status. Almost everyone, one way or the other, they get abused. Probably they choose to be silent. But if a voice is out there crying for justice, the least you can do as a human is to join forces with that person to ensure justice for Jessica. So today, this is a press conference calling for everyone to come and let's see how best, even if Lucas cannot be returned to Liberia, there has to be some damages paid for, for what he has done to a Liberian young lady. Thank you. Okay, do we have any comments? Then we, do we have comments? So, um, yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm a victim of death, mysterious death, like Princess Cooper. I think Jessica will tell God thank you first for your life. But other Kumi have survived. He's seen this for too. But with your share, man, every day of monocraft and justice, the kidneys is moving around freely. If our buildings are doing business there freely, if our bus business center open a case for infinity in Labrua when Princess Cooper died in her face, the same governor of Labrua said that there were no foul play. She died of TV, but yet no family members of Princess will be quarantined doing a TV is a communicable disease. <laughs> so we know that uh, listening to the case, I've been following the audios, I'm reading the social media, and on a no condition, uh, in the law, the student of the law, when someone is judged, the judge is there to decide between the two lawyers to determine who is argument is strong. And before the lawyer, the, the judge decides, he or she must be full evidence that will overweight the other lawyer evidence. But we have been told and we are informed that Lucas Reche, the criminal who claimed to be a bishop or missionary, couldn't produce any single evidence. And the fact that agree that according to Tina, I don't call him George, a criminal is a criminal. Mm -hmm. Is that a George? Is that a He's a criminal in nature. George Tina is saying the evidence Jessica presented was not sufficient. The question is, how many evidences were provided by Lucas Reche? Thank you. That's my question to you. Thank you very much. Okay, so we move for questions. Only two questions we entertain. One comes from uh, Frontish Africa and one comes from Women Voices. So, uh, I'm Webster Clay from Frontish Africa. I mean, you as a, a civil rights group, what is the step taking from, from here? I mean, one, two, three. What are going to be the step taking? To the family, another question to the family. I uh, spoke with a uh, uh, advocate in Canada, and he's trying to see how best a case can be open in America. So, will you be prepared to, to, to if if there's a possibility where you will be taken to America, will you be prepared? Yeah, sure, but it's just that I want, I just say I need, not just for me, like I said before. For others who will be facing mass, they may not be by Lucas, but they may be by different person. And if I don't get trusted, he or she might use the money again to, to, to let themselves go scot free. Or for this government, the judges in this government, to let to let people like the like, like the brother say he's not a judge because he's corrupt. Even I can give him the respect to let that person go scot free. So yes, if I happen to, if, if there's an opportunity, and yes, I believe I will get justice, then this case can be reopened for Lucas to, 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 to face the punishment of what he has done. I would be, yes, I would be there to, 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 to make sure that I see justice. Okay, so to answer the first, the first question, we have started to meet relevant people because advocacy basically is not necessarily about jumping in the streets of protest, even though it's part of it. But we are negotiating, we are meeting relevant people, we're going to have several different activities scheduled. We're still 
a plain event. One, of, one is this one, press conference. We're going to have media um, appearances. We're going to petition our legislators. We're definitely going to also have certain actions. But we, we will communicate and always update the public about different activities. But this is just the first one, and you guys need to look forward to a lot more that we're going to do to ensure that justice is done for Jessica. A lot of people say Lucas has left the country, but yeah, we lost a criminal offense, uh, criminal offense case. We also going to see how best we can issue a civil lawsuit against him so he can pay damages, you know, for what he has done. Jessica needs to be taken care of. This girl literally died in So I don't know whether she has children or she have a dog. Yes. Thank you. I don't know whether he's not even a human being with a soul to so see a very deep cut throat and you say there's not enough evidence. Is this girl alone not an evidence for you? So I don't know who the kind of people we have in our justice system. The system needs a serious attention and I think it starts with Jessica's case today. Okay, so the last question. Well, my name is uh, my question goes, that is uh, any intervention from the uh, Ministry of Gender? No. And secondly, uh, what the amount of money up front? What's the figure? The first money, they started, they started with 10000 They engaged us for 10000 and when they started with first. And after one week, they said we were going to add it up to 20000 They are still refused. Do you see? Yes. Two weeks of the case, they will make it 13. When you drop the case, mommy, I said no. And the Eric brought document at Atheist office and they call me there to see the document. To sign document that we're waiting the case. I said, how will I sign document that will never come out to work on a stand of our conclusion? I guess sign such a document. Mm. And my husband was there, my uncle was there. It was not my own. And the Atheist, all of them were there. Okay, so thank you. We want to appreciate you for well, coming for the Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Mom, can you can you recognize uh, any of these guys or uh, people who wanted you to catch up with the financial aspect? Do you know some by name? Lucas Riches, the lawyers. But those who presented the money. Those who presented the the money to you. Yeah, Lucas Riches, lawyers. James Mwalu. And Jimmy Bobo. Jimmy Bobo. And mm -hmm. Joseph. Uh, there are three. I know their names. I will call their names. I think I will check in my phone and call their names. One Nimle. Yeah, one Nimle. Nimle? Yeah, Nimle. Okay. Okay. So, again, him and you. So that this was a form of peace. Okay, my name is Princess Kosiba and I report for FYP. So, my concern has to do with. Were they able to adjust to the input? Yes. Yes. The way they yes. So there's a concern on Facebook. Uh, there's a lady called Josephine T. Power is uh, asking, uh, can you do a communication uh, to the U.S. Embassy asking uh, their intervention? Yes. Yes. It's yes. part of, it's yeah, part of sure. our plan activity. Yes. It's part of it. That we're going to ask them because the United States of America has projected itself as a country of law and all the rules and regulations, democracy as a whole. So with democracy to have a strengthened foundation, the root of law must prevail. And we believe that when we reach out to them, they are definitely going to intervene and probably facilitate, if possible, the return of Lucas Riches to Liberia. Yeah, my name is Francis K. Dikopo. I report from the Liberal TV Network. Uh, there, there have been an allegation from the firm that I, the quote-unquote judge who presided over the case who has been involved into a lot of criminal activities and the issue about trust or, or has been one of those things that really people don't have in him. Uh, people have been wondering and asking this question, why you guys never came up earlier to see how they can place a vote of no confidence in him for him to actually discharge his duty as a judge. And also, uh, there, there have been this issue that many civil society institutions, there have been numerous of cases of similar. And sometimes civil society, when uh, these cases are ongoing, people definitely try to come to this kind of ground to have the government inform about it. Why there were some delays in the civil society institution? Well, definitely, I would not. Uh, let me just refute, you know, your assertion that there is then delinquency. 
the case actually was in court and there was nothing much really we could have done because obviously there are three branches of government and they all discharge their duties independently. So the result is now what we are having issues with, we're dissatisfied and this is an action to show that we are very dissatisfied. Um, coming up to the family to say why they didn't vote a vote of no confidence or there are allegations against um, Josh Nelson Cheney. This action is also probably a testament to that because you cannot see somebody who definitely went through I don't, something more traumatic than I can even imagine. And you are saying they did not present enough evidences when eyewitnesses were on the scene to attest that this girl throat was being slayed by somebody else who she was even married to. The fact that you are not even concerned about the connection or the motive be behind why uh, Lucas did this, it says a lot. Because this man is already established that he has been married before. So the fact that he already got married to this girl as a second wife, he probably, because every crime has a motive. So he's probably trying to get rid of this girl as an evidence. And I don't need a law degree to have an inclination that the motive behind this whole crime is actually planned, premeditated, and was executed, except that by God's intervention, somebody saw him and decided to, you know, to blow along. So this action we're taking is not related because in history never has it been a wrong time for people to stand up for justice. So it would never be wrong for us to come out today, even tomorrow, to say justice for Jessica. We're calling on everyone to not demotivate this process. Because as you sit back and say nothing can be done, this man has already left, or where were civil society groups ever since, we are demotivating the process. You are also demeaning the efforts of people who are taking their time, their sacrifices to be here and call for justice. For Jessica. Stop seeing Jessica as a person. See Jessica as a system. See Jessica as a as your daughter. See Jessica as a whole group of people that are also in her case who cannot speak out today. So there's never a wrong time for people to stand up for the right thing. We are going to stand up for Jessica and ensure that some of our civil actions are going to use fruits. And we are calling on you as well. I want to take this time to appreciate the journalists who are always in the vanguard reporting these cases. So we call on you in partnership to ensure that something is done for Jessica, even if it is taking her out of here for better treatment or for a better startup of life, we are definitely going to ensure. I mean, this girl died literally. This girl died and came back. So even if he has gone because of the um, not guilty verdict by Josh Cheney, he also, and even the institution that he was on here can be too civilly to ensure damages are paid for. Okay, so we well, now... Excuse me, uh, to, to your question. When I caught the information about George Cheney, I, I contacted Councillor Te Wong Gonglo about his corrupt behavior as a family. I told him. I was not in the position to go to the judge or write any letter, but I was in communication with my lawyer. Te Wong Gonglo was one of the prime lawyers in this case. And I told him about it. Also it's like, you know the lawyer, I will see, I will, we'll talk about it. Okay. All right, so finally, we, Abigail can conclude. You want to okay, just um, conclude. So um, we want to say thank you again for coming. And we want to send out a strong warning. So all of those that reach out to this family with grab, lawyers, you took oath to defend and protect your career. But you have been caught in the web. There are a lot of recordings that we have in our possession for you negotiating with this family. We are coming for you. We're gonna use the system to come after you. And we're gonna make sure that some of you license be revoked as a deterrence to your colleague. That in the future, there should be no other attempt to compromise case while it's still in the process of being tried. So we have pending action in the coming day. Tatos, Vic, and I, along with other people who are part of this course, along with the family, are going to communicate our pending action. And we're going to rally like humans to join us so that we can be able to petition the legislature, along with other parties we believe can help us achieve justice for Jessica to join this fight to ensure that we get justice for Jessica, her family, and the countless of Liberian girls who have endured such circumstances without proper redress. We want to say thank you. 
and may God bless you all. And also, no one should politicize our involvement for seeking for justice. Please, do not politicize our involvement. We're not from political party. We are not. We're interested in the right and well-being of Jessica Law and every survivor of victims of repressive human rights violations across Liberia. We do not represent any political institution, not only are we supported by political institutions around Liberia. Please do not politicize this process. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.